okay so these these are problem number 16 and problem number 17 from chapter 2 of hall and knight higher algebra in fact chapter number uh, that is problem number 17 we have already solved we have looked to check problem number 10 also so for problem number 17 we should check problem 10 it is there in this playlist so problem number 17 is same as problem number 10 just have one more uh, variable involved but the technique is exactly same so for problem number 16 let us first solve problem number 16 a b c d are proportional so what it means is we are given that a is to b is equal to c is to d this is what we know and we have to prove that a plus d is equal to b plus c plus a minus d times a minus c over a so if we take this expression that is we will take this expression we will take this expression we will simplify it and we will try to get this relationship that is if we can if if we simplify this expression and if we can get this relationship then we have proven that this is true okay so if a to b is equal to c to d then it implies that ad is equal to bc right so if we take this expression simplify it and somehow get ad is equal to bc then this relationship must hold if a b c d are proportional so this is very very simple simply multiply the entire equation by a so if you multiply by a what you get is you get a square plus ad is equal to ab plus a c plus a minus b and a minus c we will multiply it we will get a square minus a b minus a c plus b c right so you can see that ab and minus ab cancel out similarly ac and minus ac cancel out a square and a square cancel out and all you are left with is ad is equal to bc which is what we had to prove right we took this expression and we got this result so this implies that a by b is equal to c by d and a b c d are proportional so we have solved the problem number 16 we have already proven the problem number 16 that if a b c d are proportional then this expression must be true now look at let us look at problem number 17 let me use a different color for problem number 17 so for problem number 17 they are saying that if a b c d e are in continued proportion so what is continued proportion we have already looked this problem or similar problem in problem number 10 continued proportion means that a is to b is equal to b is to c is equal to c is to d is equal to d is to e and let us say that this is equal to some value k so this implies that b is equal to k times e c is equal to k square times e d is equal to k cube times e and a is equal to k to the power of 4 times e now simply 
what is the value of a b plus b c plus c d plus d e we want this value all in terms of e so what is a b a b is k to the power 7 times e square k to the power 7 e square plus d c is k to the power 5 k to the power 5 e square plus c d is k cube times e square and d e d e is plus k e square so we can take k e square as a common factor out and what we get inside is k to the power 6 plus k to the power 4 plus k square plus 1 right what is a square plus b square plus c square plus d square this is equal to a square is k to the power 8 e square k to the power 8 e square b square is k to the power 6 e square c square is k to the power 4 e square and d square is k square square. Now, this can be written as k square e square k to the power 6 plus k to the power 4 plus k square plus 1. Okay. Let us say this is equation number 1, this is equation number 2. Now, what is d square plus c square plus d square plus e square? d square is k to the power 6 e square plus c square is k to the power 4 e square, d square is k square e square and e square is simply e square. So, this is equal to e square times k to the power 6 plus k to the power 4 plus k square plus 1 and this is equation number 3. Right? Now, what is, let us divide equation 2 by equation 1. What is equation 2 by equation 1? Equation 2 by equation 1 is a square plus b square plus c square plus d square divided by a b plus b c plus c d plus d e. What is the value of this? You can see that this is this k 6 k 4 k square plus 1 will cancel out. Okay. So, it will be k square e square divided by k e square. So, you will get k. Right. Now, what is the value of 1 by 3? That is, we divide equation 1 by equation 3. So, this is 
ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस सी डी प्लस डी ई डिवाइड बाय डी स्क्वायर प्लस सी स्क्वायर प्लस डी स्क्वायर प्लस ई स्क्वायर वी कैन सी दैट इफ यू डिवाइड वन बाय थ्री इफ यू डिवाइड वन बाय थ्री ई स्क्वायर टाइम्स के टू पॉवर सिक्स के फोर प्लस के स्क्वायर प्लस वन विल कैंसल आउट एंड यू विल अगेन गेट ओनली के सो वॉट इट मीन्स इज सो फ्रॉम दीज टू from this equation and this equation we can conclude that a square plus b square plus c square plus d square times d square plus c square plus d square plus c square this should be equal to ए बी प्लस बी सी प्लस सी डी प्लस डी ई फोर स्क्वायर 